so this is episode 53 no it's 54 sorry and again COVID-19 in Calibo we have three positives uh, as of today that's uh, April 9 2020 we only have 11 uh, persons under monitoring but we're also waiting for the test of uh, yeah, the, probably uh, the house members of the last patient which is uh, the number three patient case number three so uh, I'm back at the office it's yeah it's supposed to be Holy Thursday is it Thursday so it's Holy Thursday but we are working, well, we're usually working even during Hall Thursday because yeah, we are a disaster and emergency management uh, um, office, but you know, this isn't normal. I'm talking about the new normal. So our new normal is uh, telling us that we have to be uh, different. And uh, I'll probably show you what it looks like, especially in the streets in Calibo. Uh, but I'll show you a drone footage of uh, yeah the bridge area of Calibre Bridge. Um, it shows you where um, a uh, COVID-19 shield uh, joint uh, operations is being done by uh, by the Municipal Health Office, the Philippine National Police, the Bureau of Fire Protection, the Municipal Disaster Reduction Management Office and um, the Philippine Army Reserve so that's actually part of it and that's not the only uh, um, border control point there's another one in uh, Tangalan sorry not Tangalan. Um, between the borders of well it's inside Calibo it's uh, but um, it stops anybody coming from New Washington or Batan or it's uh, near Cano and then we have another one in uh, Tigayan so, in a normal sense, border controls wouldn't be there, but because we are living in a new normal, it's there. Hopefully, it's not going to be there for um, uh, permanently, but uh, it's there to stop the spread of the virus from coming in. Uh, we pretty much uh, can see that we were able to contain it within the community and possibly isolate it, but you know, who knows? We're still waiting for the test, and uh, we still haven't done, um, yeah, a mass testing or something like that. But we are, as Filipinos, and we are always hopeful. So, talking about the new normal, let me show you what it looks like in uh, the Calibo Bridge area. streets are not that full it's a good thing I, I like it that way less chance of uh, you know, pushing for more infection but there's gonna be a lot of people's gonna be unhappy about it 
and even some of them are my friends. I can't do anything about it, so it's stated on uh, the ILG memorandum, if I'm not mistaken, uh, that's uh, uh, explaining uh, the whole thing about the Bayanihan Heal As One Act, or that's the Bayanihan Heal As One Law. So, no public conveyances, no public vehicles on the ground, um, that everything will be uh, um, private or, you know, uh, and everything will be limited. Um, going out of my house, going, passing by one of the checkpoints in uh, my barangay or village, I have to log in. Yeah, I'm speaking English again. Naga log in ako sa um, logbook. And then uh, later, if I'm going back home because I'm not on duty tonight, it's gonna be Kim. So, malag ma log in nga pa ako papalik. Doin nga hai one way para ma sure nga tama or movement itawo. And it's being done 24 7. Anyway, um, 24 7 do ginatawag nga curfew para sa senior citizens and uh, minors. Ro curfew for all except for uh, frontliners, first responders, law enforcement stuff. Hi. It's uh, from 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. So that's curfew for all. So if you're in duty, then you're exempted. But if you're not in duty, including myself, which is later, I'm, I won't be on duty. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not on schedule. So uh, I have to be back home. I have to stay home. And again, we're emphasizing the damn thing. Yeah, stay home. Yeah, let me show you what it looks like outside. It's quite different from yesterday and from, you know, and people are angry about this, but uh, it's Holy Thursday. Second, please stay at home and we're implementing the whole thing. There's a lot of tricycles being impounded because of hard-headedness of people. So, let me show you what it looks like outside. talk about something else uh, still the new normal the Philippines initiated a uh, let's say an enhanced community quarantine as early as possible to uh, try to curb spread of the disease and uh, here in Calibre it's also the same thing which is a good thing um, one of the problems that uh, we, we saw with other countries is that um, most people doesn't really like being, you know, put in a box or, you know, being told what to do. And uh, it's the same thing for Filipinos, but we did it a bit earlier and we have a really, uh, let's say, a very 
persuasive and um, iron wheel precedent and uh, it works this actually works and it's one of the key that it has to work so in comparison to other countries like uh, you, you have Korea which uh, did a uh, little um, yeah, and only a few lockdowns but they concentrated more on mass testing look at the US they there's about 10,000 more uh, deaths actually for COVID-19 if I'm not mistaken but please comment below so that um, I'll, I'll know I'm not quite sure but I think it is and they have about a hundred thousand positive cases so yeah the new normal for the Philippines is that we have to be strong we have to be strict and on our end uh, we were we're just implementing I have a, I have a good friend um, he complained about this and he said it's a bit inhuman because you know um, there's a lot of restrictions but again probably the, the, the part that we, we, we may say inhuman but it, it, it I, th I don't think it's inhuman but I think being strong-willed makes it more effective to lock everything down and make sure that uh, the spread of the virus is uh, yeah is uh, prevented and uh, if we had to do it uh, by force reasonable force just like what happened uh, the, today uh, there's a lot of tricycles being impounded then it has to be done because this is the only way to protect uh, Kalibo and this is the only way to do that and I think most of the medical professionals uh, agree with that now the news is that it's gonna be uh, pushed forward up to April 30 it's April 9 it's supposed to end April 4 15 if I'm not mistaken but now it's the news is I'm still waiting for the executive order but uh, uh, one of the tourism pages of the province of Kalan has posted that already and uh, I heard it from you know the, the grapevine from that the enhanced community quarantine for Aklan that means that includes Kalibo has been uh, extended and uh, it's gonna end not on April 15 but April 30 and uh, we supported that move and um, I think it is good we have we already made uh, some leaps and bounds uh, we achieved so much uh, just to you know cut it short because we were so lenient and then we'll see a sudden rise we don't want that Puro English yun ah Huwag kami naila karon May kwan kita yun, nakaabot ng kita di ka to We only have 3 right now 11 persons under monitoring So I'm not a second 1 UI So Let's not add more Let's be strict about everything We tried educating people to be ready We tried telling them to, you know, every time um, before a disaster strikes Everybody has to be ready. Apparently, they don't listen. They no problem, Ohara. Now, so um, I've shown you what it looks like. Um, so, so gunshots and uh, even so streets. Um, in the malls, you'll see people lining up, uh, doing the um, social distancing thing. But you know, we may. Um, we have problems with when people go to ATMs or banks. They don't listen. The I don't know. They will risk it for getting that virus for money. Maybe. You know, I don't, I don't really know. I, I can't see the logic. So, guys, stay healthy. Stay safe stay at home and um, i'll see you on the next video please subscribe to my channel uh, click the subscribe button um, it's gonna be here and um, yeah i'll see you in the next video uh, hit that notification bell for more of my videos
See you next time.